So uh, another huge topic uh, is loyalties, and this is another point that you bring up in the book that I really loved. Um, you say that 63% of participants stated that the quality in, in this particular survey, uh, that the quality of the relationship with their direct manager impacted their level of satisfaction on the job. Uh, the psychological contract is no more. Welcome to the social contract. Can you expand on that? Mm -hmm. Well, this goes back to the engagement data that Gallup and many other organizations have been researching for years. And HR professionals know when they do exit interviews that people leave not just for career advancement, but they leave because of a poor quality relationship with their colleagues, a poor quality relationship with their boss, or a poor quality relationship with their customers. And it goes back to our earlier part of the conversation that relationships really matter. Mm -hmm. So when we want loyalty, if we want a highly engaged workforce, posters and uh, trust falls and team building activities, they're not enough. We need to look at the day-to-day -day interactions of how business gets done so that I feel connected to you. I'm seeking you out in advance of the uh, fire drill and also building that level of trust that we can work together and collaborate especially on the tough days when things aren't going to plan. You, mem you mentioned the you also it's about the quality of the team experience, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Google, uh, interestingly, has done a lot of research around what makes for a high-performing mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also ascribed in the past to the 20th century mindset of let's put the smartest people together or similar personalities together and we're bound to have a high-performing team. Mm -hmm. And yet, of course, the reality is no. And uh, with Project Aristotle, they looked at what makes for a high performing team within their environment. And what they found was it was the quality of the working relationships, the ability to sit down at the start of a project or as um, we move through our careers and essentially contract for how are we going to work together. It's the soft, fluffy stuff that we've always ignored because it's misperceived as soft and fluffy mm. that actually allows us to get the hard results.